Hey guys, this is Beeler from Hopefully Useful Software. I'm the co-creator of our new app, Simple Songwriter Guitarist, and I'll be taking you through the interface just now. So on the left here, you have our slider. It's just like the uh, fretboard of a guitar, um, allowing you to have up to eight chord patterns uh, up and down the neck. Um, so if I took the E major chord, was to go down you can hear it sounding different it's the same chord but it's different tones different sounds so I'll, just as a quick example I'll record some of those and I'll go to the play menu and you can see there's E here with the fret 1 Got numbers you can scroll through fret so two same sound different tones and you can play back on this screen individual notes uh, next to that we have our chord modifiers buttons now these just create different more interesting chords uh, to go along with the ones already given now the whole idea of Simple Songwriter Guitarist and Simple Songwriter is to provide chords that just sound good together. So you don't have to think about, you don't need to know any music theory or knowledge, you just have to use your ear and, and let you be the judge. So if I hold down a sixth, you can see that some are greyed out and some are not. The ones that aren't greyed out will sound good together with all the other chords. As you can see we've got sevenths. Um, and when I press sevenths, such as the, the B7 here, may not necessarily be a major, that's actually a dominant. Um, but once again, it's all about taking the thinking behind and just hitting the buttons to, to let you be the judge. Okay, uh, next we have our strum, six strum pattern buttons here. So the strum patterns are exactly that, the strum patterns. Um, if I change strum pattern, and you get the idea. Um, bank button here, I'll show you in a second how that can be useful. Uh, by hitting menu, you can see we've got our menu system here. If, uh, if you ever need to know any more tutorials or whatnot, just click the middle button there and you have the videos and other things there. Um, let's start with customize. So here you've got uh, your strum patterns you can customize. We've got another video on how to do that, so check that out. Um, now, any we've made, we've listened to a lot of feedback from Simple Songwriter, and a lot of people wanted every chord to be able to be changeable. So we've now done that, and we've added this bank button I was telling you about earlier. Um, so you've got a total of 18 buttons there. Uh, but not only the, the ones that we've given you that will sound good together, they can be all changed if you want. I'd recommend just leaving them and changing the empty slots. So you can choose any chord. Uh, we've got thousands of chords. Um, or if you're feeling adventurous, you can make your own custom made chords. So here's the, uh, the fretboard again. And the interesting thing is here, you can make chords that are not physically possible. So, as an example. Uh, and if you want to mute one, you can just tap there, you can see it dims it. So, uh, you can play that. Sounds, sounds amazing, huh? So, uh, just call it whatever. A was probably not the right thing to call it, but um, you get the idea. Uh, we go back to, we've got key. You choose any key you want. We've added in a few extra um, keys here. Settings. Now here we've got the different tempo, so you can slide your finger up and down, get the right tempo, or you can tap tempo 
find the right beat. Uh, layout. This is my favorite layout. There's up to four. You can experiment with those. But once you select it, it will remember that for next time you open it. Uh, you can switch between 4-4 four, four and 3-4 timing. Effects, there's distortion and chord numbers. Um, you, I don't know if you saw, there was little uh, numbers on the bottoms of these chords. I'll turn that back on so you can see. There they come back. That's just to, um, just to see if, uh, and that's to help with remembering chord patterns. When you've recorded a song, which I will just record something now. Then you go into song mode. And here you can, here's really good because you can uh, edit anything you want, any parameters. So you can hit the chords to see what they sound like. I wasn't really happy with that ending on the C sharp minor. So I can choose the B, um, I can choose on the fret, fretboard where you might want it. You can also choose any modifiers. You can get a good idea of how you want your song to go very quickly and then you can Wherever you choose from here, it will play on from there. So I'll choose the start. And you can hear the timing was a little bit off. So you can, I can see here step 01, you get 16 steps per bar. So I, could, I really want it on the zero of the bar four. So I can just choose up and the same for bar 5, I want it on the 0. Now when I go to play it, it should sound in time. Not only that, but you can adjust the uh, strum patterns you want as well. This may not sound very good, but it gives you the idea. Brilliant. That's about it, apart from you got load and save, or you can export to WAV. Um, it's really good to, uh, I personally use this all the time, um, and I love to export the MIDI files to my favorite sequences. Uh, and you can do that through iTunes, I think one of the other videos shows that. Uh, and we were also brought out the new, uh, new version with Line 6 MIDI Mobilizer support. So if you've got one of those, just plug it into the back here and um, you can play this all live via MIDI. It's pretty amazing. Um, and we're, we're working on new versions, especially we want to bring out an iPad version. We'll be bringing out new updates all the time. So uh, check out new videos and I hope you guys enjoy it as much as I do. All right, cheers. Bye.